straight razor stropping is the kind of thing that uh, will either make or break your edge. It's really easy to strop incorrectly and when you do that you can really dull a blade and for people that are just starting out I think this is a surprising thing. It certainly was for me because I would uh, hone my razor and it would seem to be very sharp and then I would strop and then I would shave with it and it was crap. And I didn't really understand what was going on. I thought it might be my technique, my shaving technique. But when I shared this with some of the guys in the Yahoo straight shaving group, they uh, immediately asked me about my stropping technique and uh, sure enough I was doing it incorrectly. So I thought that I'd make a little video here to talk about that. So I don't have a lot of strops but I'll show you what I have. Um, I have this small one. This is a new strop made by Dorgo. It's a German strop. It's a single piece of leather. Um, it's very narrow and it's fairly short for a strop in my opinion. Um, and I used this initially uh, and then I ended up with a larger strop just um, just because I found this one a little bit um, limiting. However, what I use this for, you can see it's covered in this green stuff. This is a strop, uh, stropping compound that I bought at Lee Valley. And I use this strop now um, after I hone. Um, because it's abrasive, it actually removes material off of the blade. Um, so in effect this acts like a very 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 fine hone. So when I'm done honing on the stones I'll use this strop to kind of give the edge the sort of final polish. But I will only use this right after honing. I won't, I won't use this um, you know ongoing. Um, so this is another kind of strop. This is an old vintage strop but you can see that it's uh, a lot wider and I prefer this. It's also a lot longer. So you get a lot more of the blade covered um, and you get a lot more sort of stropping action because it's longer. So this is, this is what I prefer. I found this at an antiques market. Um, so you know you could check on eBay, antiques markets or whatever. And this strop um, also comes with um, a, can a piece of canvas which is on the other side. And you'll find that there's a lot of information on the internet about canvas and leather strops and you'll also find that there's a lot of conflicting information about them. So I'm just going to tell you what I do and um, share that with you and you know take that as sort of my opinion. Another, another kind of strop is um, this. This is a piece of leather mounted on a solid sort of paddle and uh, this is sort of a fixed strop and this is also um, available. This, this one came from Lee Valley uh, as well. So, um, so when, when I strop, uh, I'm going to talk about just sort of stropping, assuming that your, your razor has uh, been honed and it's ready for shaving and you've shaved with it, um, sort of how to strop on an ongoing basis. So what I do is I never use the canvas side. Um, before a shave. I only use the leather side and I'll tell you why that is in a minute. When you use a strop there's really two things that affect the uh, the sharpness of your blade. One is the tension that you put on the strop, so how tightly you stretch it out and also how hard you press with the razor on the strop. These things should be opposite in that you should pull very tightly on the strop and keep it nice and taut but when you put the razor on the strop it should be very light however it should be enough pressure to keep the blade all of the blade on the strop and also when you strop you strop with the spine leading meaning the spine goes first the blade should be following if you were to strop by pushing the blade into the leather the blade would catch and you'd end up with nicks in your um, leather. And you can see actually there's some nicks here in this leather, in this strop, from mistakenly doing that, which sometimes happens. So the way you strop is to bring the blade um, with the spine uh, forward, leading. And then when you get to the end, you flip it on the spine and then you pull back. And that's one stroke. You go again, again and again and again just like that and once you uh, practice this and get used to it you can go fairly quickly but of course sometimes you might make a little mistake and nick your strop and you know whatever that happens um, but the most important thing is to keep the strop tight and to keep the razor light light pressure the reason is because 
if the strop isn't tight and you were to strop, the strop would curve like that. And then what ends up happening is the curve of the leather kind of reaches around the blade and, and dulls the blade. The other thing is that if you were to push the blade into the strop, you're also going to deform the strop. It's going to curve. But also the leather, because it's soft, is going to kind of, again, kind of deform around the blade. So the idea is to keep this, this, the, the strop taut and to keep the blade um, light on it. Also, you'll find that um, even with a wide strop like this, it's not wide enough to cover the full width of the blade. So what I do is I just I kind of start out like this and I pull it like that. And then that way I cover the full width of the blade. It's a diagonal motion basically. And when you're using a, a narrower strop, you of course have to be more, more cautious of that. Like that. And you can see how I'm holding the blade. It's kind of uh, freehand, like this. And I use, um, I use a motion like this. when I'm turning it on the edge. So I'll show you. I'll go slow. I'll start out slow. And then once you get used to it, you can strop fairly quickly and get the strokes in that you need in order to uh, strop your blade. So when I hone, after I hone, um, I find that I get really good results doing 25 strokes on the pasted strop, 25 strokes on the canvas, and 25 strokes on the leather. And then before every shave, I do maybe 10 to 20 strokes on the leather only. Um, now, if you look at the canvas side, I've uh, stropped a number of razors on this, and you can see it's kind of black. To, to my mind and from my experience, the canvas side actually removes material from the blade ever so slightly, but it does remove material. So in effect, the canvas side acts as kind of a, a light honing, if you will. And so, um, so you know, when you're honing, you kind of go from coarser uh, grits to finer grits. So after the stones, I hone on the this with the uh, paste. And then I hone, I hone, if you will, on this strop, and then the final stropping happens on the leather. So um, subsequent shaves, I'll only strop on the leather. Um, and then if I find the blade is getting just a little, a little grabby or a little dull, I might uh, do a little bit on the canvas just to see if that'll work. And if that, if that doesn't do it enough, then I'll, I'll have to go back to honing on the, uh, on the stone. Um, and when I, as I, I think I mentioned that when I, before every shave, I do about 10 to 20 strokes on, on the, on the leather. So really that covers it. Um, hopefully that was useful to you. Just remember to keep the strop taut and a uh, minimal amount of pressure on the blade, just very lightly. Like in fact, just the weight of the blade is usually enough and make sure you get the entire blade and make sure that you, um, you strop with the spine leading and that you turn the blade on the spine like that. And you should have no trouble stropping and you'll end up with a very fine <coughs> blade. Um, the final test after you strop is called the, hang the hanging hair test. And the way that works is you take a hair from your head or what I do is I pull out a hair from my brush here. See if I can get one. And you won't be able to see this on the camera. Basically, I hold the hair so that it's sticking out from my, my fingers. And then I just rub, rub it on the blade. And I feel how the blade grabs the hair. And what you want, as far as a sharp, stro sharp nicely strop razor, is that hair should just pop. Like when you rub it on the blade, it should just pop. It should just cut almost immediately.